Hello everybody, and welcome to this brand new Let's Play. So this is a uh, a challenge that has been put towards me on uh, on Discord, on the Discord group that um, I belong to, and I uh, readily accepted it as the uh, as they called it the YouTube challenge. So we're on Nutston farm i'll just show you the uh, for those of you that are not familiar with the farm this was originally for fs17 um it was converted over to 19 and then into 22 the main difference for the 22 version is that there are no trains now that run on the lines uh, a dairy farm was added and then subsequently um I removed pretty much most of it because it doesn't work none of the triggers in it work I c you can't feed the animals you can't buy the animals you can't anything the animals um, so I was uh, as I say telling this to uh, someone on discord so I, I kind of wanted to get it working and they said that actually got a better idea so the idea is this is the dairy farm we own this bit of land and then we also own the bit where I just started from where I've just walked from there's a caravan on there and we've got a really old truck so the idea of this save game is that we will on completion of the same on completion of the save game we will own the whole map with factories productions and everything included now it doesn't mean that I'm gonna have to buy and inst and install some productions and factories because this map although it does have a couple it doesn't have many um so we, we we certainly won't be able to do everything that the game is capable of doing in its basic form so i will have to add some new factories and some new production areas uh, to the map so as i say we have to own the whole thing and we have to be doing full productions so that's everything on the on the map from you know honey from grapes to just everything you can get in the base game we also have to own this farm up here now this is a nice arable farm and I'll just quickly run you over to this farm so this is the farm where we've eventually got to get to and this is a really really nice uh, proper English arable farm um, there is a grain silo which you know most farm well not most farms in England but some farms in England do have for the drop for the drying of um, crops before storage but the one thing that it has is tippable tip tippable grain sheds and I'm really uh, sort of excited to, 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 to do a proper English uh, save game where we use grain stores to tip and store all of our crops before loading into lorries and then selling so as you can see it's got a little bit of a, uh, a shed there to put your machinery in a little bit of a lean-to type shed there so I think they're called Dutch barns aren't they uh, with open sides so a Dutch barn there we've got a workshop here a nice workshop here that we can eventually repair our tractors in and then we've also got grain stores that go this way uh, we've got a diesel tank there we've got a few sort of storage sheds for fertilizers and sprays and stuff and then on this side we've got a combine shed which is that one uh, and then, then the other side of that is the uh, workshop that I showed you that we've also got a farmhouse down there um, no function in the game really other than sleep and to change your clothes if you want to uh, wear a different uh, outfit so yeah it's to own this own the whole map Ooh, didn't turn auto save off sorry about that own the whole map and then down here where we're starting this is kind of where the challenge comes in because I've been set the challenge of I can't do contracts unless I have the machinery to do it myself without borrowing uh, any equipment I can't hire anything I also have to um, own the equipment to do the jobs I have to farm with precision farming and this area here so it runs right up to that big tree there in the center so this area here has to be an organic eco-friendly farm that is apiary and chickens so apiary so basically a bee farm and a chicken farm together 
we from when I deleted the um, dairy down here I left the silage pitch pits for two reasons one is they can't be deleted or at least I can't find out how to delete them and I've been in Giants Editor and I've done the uh, hide object mod nothing gets rid of them uh, even when I delete them in Giants Editor I load the game back in and oh they're still there and yes I have tried starting a new game after deleting they just keep reappearing so it's not a problem um, we can work with it and we will work with it because what I'm kind of thinking is is that we've got two silage pits that are quite close together so this could be one uh, bee area where we can if you like put the beehives because the walls actually will act as really good wind protectors uh, for the beehive so actually it offers quite nice shelter um, quite nice sun trap uh, open at the front so the bees can obviously get out easy enough and as I say high walls which means it's a, a, a nice uh, hive protector and the same here uh, with this one exactly the same reason so I'm, I'm, I'm overly not too disappointed that I couldn't get rid of them but the whole area has to be bees and chickens it can be nothing else um, I have posted and sent a message saying what about greenhouses haven't heard anything yet but I'm hoping that greenhouses might be uh, allowed but the thing with this farm is it must be eco-friendly it must be organic it must be electric there must be no diesel on here no chemicals on here no nothing processed and man-made everything here has to be organic and according to the sort of environment and the uh, eco living uh, lifestyle so once we get this up and running we do have a little bit of starting capital and in the first episode because this is just the introductory in the first episode we will be putting down our bees we will have enough for the bees I'm not too sure that we will have enough for any chicken coops um, if we do have then of course we'll lay them but I, d I don't think we will have um, just because of the way that uh, as I say that um, the game has been set out for me um, the one thing that I had to have as well was I had to have somewhere to live and I had to have a truck um, now I wasn't going to originally start with the truck but I, it was explained to me that if I don't start with the truck and I start with the bees I'll have no way of carrying, of getting the uh, honey um, pallets from the farm to the cell point so I have been allowed one truck that, uh, or an old truck, whoops don't walk all over it and basically this will hold probably two pallets so as quick as we can we need to get these bees up and running and then not only do we need to get them up and running we need to get the money as fast as we can for probably a front loader um, because that will also help us in terms of of um, you know progressing because obviously my plan is my initial plan is is that this front half probably up to about here is going to be farm so we can develop this uh, all the way out to here we can develop all of this because uh, we're going to need st uh, sheds obviously if we're going to start arable farming down here which we're allowed to do we've, we're sort of not restricted in that terms but the end goal is is that this farm is completely organic and eco-friendly we own the whole map and we also own the farm that I've just showed you and we also have full productions um, and stuff uh, being made and we also have to have 10 million pounds in the bank account uh, as a minimum uh, and then uh, I guess I could either then carry on the save and if that's what everyone wants me to do I will do or we can uh, start getting towards the end some suggestions in uh, maybe doing another uh, challenge James uh, sort of survival role play series where you set the boundaries and and what have you and um and uh i uh, have to complete it oh yeah and there's one more as well actually that's just reminded me there is one more at the end not only do i need everything that i've explained every piece of kit that i own on the main arable farm mainly because i can't do it on this little farm but on the main arable farm every piece of kit has to be challenger 
that includes the combine, the tractors, everything. The sprayer, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that just because there isn't a Challenger sprayer in FS22. Um, and if there is, I can't find one. And if you have known of one and one that works very well and it's not got no errors, then um, please let me know because it needs to go in. And the other piece of uh, equipment that I won't be able to have as Challenger again because there isn't one in the game. However, there might be a cat one. Uh, if there is a cat one, then I will use that. But as of yet, I've not found a Challenger one and I've not found a, a Caterpillar one. But that's the forklift. But everything else, the tractors, have to be um, from Challenger. So the track tractors, the wheel tractors, the combine, all stuff like that has to be Challenger. So that's the uh, the new save game. That's the challenge that's been set before me. Um, we're a very long way from completion. Um, I'm really looking forward to this, to be fair, because... As I said, this is something, again, you know, and I say this in just about every video that I do, but I've been doing stuff that I don't normally do in these YouTube videos just because, A, it challenges me. It challenges me to make videos um, on stuff that I've sort of never done or not been doing much of, and I don't really know what I'm doing, and I'm sort of learning, and hopefully while I'm learning, for those of you out there that don't know um, how to do certain things, maybe you're learning too, and sort of between us we'll make half decent farmers in the end um, but yeah so I just wanted to introduce uh, this uh, save game and uh, the uh, challenge that has been put before me and um, I hope uh, you're going to enjoy it and I hope you're going to follow the series because um, as I say I think it's going to be very interesting to see whether or not it can be done we're not allowed no loans we're not allowed to hire we are allowed to do contracts, but we have to have the equipment. We can't borrow the equipment uh, from the farm. Um, so it's going to be difficult uh, right from the get-go. Because like I say, I think we're going to have enough money to fill this one up with bees. Or possibly, well, either or, it doesn't matter. But it'll either be that one or this one that we'll fill up with bees. And we'll obviously we'll need a an area for the pallets to spawn as well so we're gonna have to buy that um, I must admit I did have in the game a free one but I have changed that over now so that it costs money um, just to make it a little bit harder so um, everything sort of that I had um, either as free just to you know that I was using in my own save games um, anything that was free has now been given a price and uh, quite a hefty price at that to make it a challenge but yeah so as i say that's a, a short short video and an introduction to the new save i really hope you're going to enjoy it i really hope you're going to follow me uh, i'm definitely going to really enjoy doing this because as i say from day one we have got to get moving um, and we have got to start earning money very very quickly the expansions to this farm will be slow the turnover from grass to this to being an arable field to support chickens will be slow um, but hopefully not too slow I hope by the end of the first year uh, the uh, farm area is set out the bees are producing plenty of honey we've maybe got a chicken coop or two and this area of land will have been mowed uh, tedded baled sell the um, uh, the hay bales and then it will be arable farming all the way on here so we're going to need a combine we're going to need a drill we're going to we're going to need a lot of stuff and we're going to need money and it's not going to be easy but um, anyway I'll see you on the first episode that should hopefully drop next week um, still planning at the moment still trying to find all of the mods necessary to to complete all the challenges and to, to try and find them error free but like I say if you do know of a challenger sprayer I did download the regatta sprayer that is available the challenger regatta sprayer, sprayer that is available for this 22 version but when I load it into the game it has no wheels I know that's a fairly simple fix but I, I don't know how to do it myself um, I've tried following the tutorials but for some reason it just doesn't work 
um, and after I've done sort of my changes it then has Lua errors so I don't, I'm not quite sure what I'm doing or what I'm doing wrong but as it is at the moment I don't have a challenger sprayer and I don't have a, a challenger forklift just because challenger don't do forklifts but if there is a cat one if I can find a cat one that is uh, error free and works well I will um, I will include that into my save game and then at least then it's made by the same company but uh, yeah so if anyone out there by the way would like to have a go at converting that uh, regatta sprayer for me so that we can have it on the save game so that I can have pretty much all of the equipment challenger um, I would be really grateful and that would be really great if you could help um, but uh, anyway as for now I'm gonna run off and I've got some planning to do and uh, I'll see you on the first episode which hopefully should drop next week thanks bye for now